very warm good afternoon my dear students welcome to this chemistry digital class uh, as you know that we have started our chapter 5 and uh, in chapter 5 we are talking about the classification of elements if you have not seen the previous video so first before going to watch this video it's my request that you must watch the previous video from my youtube channel so that you can understand this video also in very effective way okay so let's start welcome to <coughs> chemistry digital class as uh, we know, we have we are studying about the classification of elements so we have studied with the history of classification of elements dear student there are uh, contribution of so many scientists to classify the elements in a proper way on the basis of its properties so these are basically you know that uh, more than 100 elements is uh, discovered till now date till this date so by keeping this thing we should have one very effective classification we should have very effective periodic table so that we can understand the each and every properties of element in a very uh, easy way so uh, this is the classification that we have studied we studied that in 1817 dovernier was the first person who tried to classify element on the basis of its tried tried mean 3 so as you know that very well his classification was based on atomic mass and according to his classification he classified all those element like he he classified he took 3 3 elements in which first element and sec third element average of their mass will be the element of second okay but there were some limitations he was not able to classify many of the elements which were discovered at that time he just classified only 3 elements with three group three elements and in this classification sometime in one uh, group there were three three elements so uh, these elements were not uh, able to understand in proper way so then to overcome his limitations newlands octave in 1866 in which uh, newlands has given its uh, classification and uh, base of his classification was atomic mass only and uh, then uh, he classified its uh, atomic mass on the basis of musical notes sa re ga ma pa dha ni in which he studied that he told that every eighth element have similar property like first element it means that every eighth element is similar to its first element and uh, that was that's why it is called octave then after this uh, there was some limitations in the newlands octave also whereas only it was applicable up to calcium and he classified only at that time 56 elements were discovered but up to calcium this method was working this uh, this classification was working after that there was uh, uh, not the symmetrical uh, like that uh, every eighth element is similar like first element this was not available there so dear students now after this we will study today about the mendeleev periodic table who is called the father of periodic table also because he was the first person who classified the element on the basis of group and uh, periods or i can say column and row he made the classification he made the classification very easy also and uh, in 1869 according to mendeleev's uh, who is known as the father of periodic table according to mendeleev's the elements will be classified on the basis of atomic mass uh, let's see in the previous uh, next video so mendeleev mendeleev he arranged element on the basis of atomic mass first and chemical property according to his classification the element from each family they are somewhere related uh, with the atomic mass and they are similar chemical property he selected hydrogen and oxygen and reacted every element with it and form its compound I mean he was the first person who somewhere uh shown that the element will combine and it, they will form the compounds so basically he uh, selected two elements with the which with uh, with which they he he uh, mean com- made the compound of all the elements so compounds of hydrides and oxides were treated as one of the basic property of an element for its classification he formulated periodic law that properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic mass according to him the properties of element can be periodically 
classify on the basis of its atomic mass but somewhere it was wrong and according to his classification this was his classification Mendeley periodic table lost it the properties of each element are periodic function of their atomic mass so he made this one two three four five six seven eight it means that eight uh, group column he made eight columns are these okay like a uh, one table and uh, one two three four five six period is there six row is there clear so six row eight column is uh, the basic uh, table of his classification and according to his classification he divided each row each column sorry a b a b part a b sub part a b sub part except eighth eighth there is no a b rest up to seven there is a b part and uh, he classifies those element on the basis of this a b for example potassium and uh, copper is in same group calcium and zinc is in same group vanadium and arsenic similar group so these can be potassium can be under a and copper can be under b similar way uh, rubidium can be under a and uh, arginine, argentine yeah, silver will be under group b okay so now according to him these element all the elements have similar chemical property that's why these elements kept under this first group and these element have similar property these element have similar property these element has similar property student you need to take screenshot of this and you need to draw this table in your notebook with the elements also and its atomic mass these number 1.01 6.94 these are atomic mass of element so by with the help of this periodic table the the people they they got somewhere this idea he mean atomic mass will be the one of the base of it, this periodic table and all the elements which is kept in under this periodic table is somewhere similar in chemical property like hydrogen is similar to lithium lithium is similar to sodium sodium is potassium and this is today also it is similar way and uh, uh, in the last eighth group he kept the uh, transition series this is called transition series which is at present today's uh, at today's modern periodic table it is known as d block okay but here is no block here is transition series so all iron cobalt nickel rubidium uh, uh, rhodium lead osmium okay these are somewhere known as transition series elements you can see surprisingly some gap also here dear students these are the gap so it means that this is the classification which give us some idea about future discovering elements also and the, um, the, the advantage of this periodic table is that by taking these gap we can guess that maybe some new elements will be discovered in future so there was a uh, space for future discovering there, there was scope for uh, future discovering elements also which can be kept in this periodic table so this is more clear version of uh, periodic table of uh, Mendeleev so you can see here I told you group there are eight groups one two three four five six seven eight eight groups there are six periods you can see one two three four five six period whereas in fourth fifth and sixth they have first series and second series also it means that in uh, fourth fifth sixth period there is sub period also that is first and second series there is first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh have uh, sub part also a and b okay and uh, uh, oxides as already we studied that uh, Mendeleev has done what he has somewhere uh, made the compound of hydrogen lithium these elements with hydrogen and oxygen so with oxygen it is called oxides with hydrogen it is called uh, hydrides okay so let's little bit more zoom after doing zoom we can understand see here now this group whatever elements are there in this group like hydrogen lithium sodium then it will react with oxygen it is giving the student single oxygen like H O lithium O okay but uh, this is somewhere wrong it should be r h2o li2o okay and hydride will be h2o lithium hydride it is like this way okay so uh, when it will be with hydrogen then there is one what when one and one when it will be with uh, ro with ro it will give somewhere r2o like r2o it means that r will be hydrogen lithium 
hope so you are understanding okay in place of r we will write this this like h2o you know very well the formula of water is h2o lithium 2o sodium 2o this is oxides similar way the second second group second group member second group member like barium oxide it will be have simple oxygen okay so do correct this this is wrong so write is r2o okay this is here r r h is same so this side it is ro and rh2 so it will give compound third group is compound r2o3 rh3 fourth member of these elements will give with oxygen ro2 like co2 and rh4 okay similar way r2o5 fifth group ro3 sixth group r2o7 seventh group ro4 eighth group in this way with the help of this periodic table we came to know some idea about the oxides and hydrogens also dear students oxides hydrides idea we get from mendeley's periodic table now it is also on the basis of mass so it is similar you can see here these number are some very atomic mass and those empty spaces these are the scope for future discovering elements so uh, here he has not given the base like uh, average mass he has not given base like musical note his basis were atomic mass and chemical properties these are the chemical properties okay the oxides and hydrides are chemical properties so mendeley's periodic table is on the basis of atomic mass and chemical property but dear student there were some limitations and some achievements of this periodic table let's understand first achievements then we will understand the limitation so first achievement predicting existence of some element that were not discovered at that time already i told those left gap that was giving us this type of scope that maybe some new elements will be discovered in the future so this was predicting according to this mendeley periodic table like gallium scandium germanium was for example future discovering elements predict properties of element on the basis of its position yes we can predict uh, properties similar properties of element on the basis of its position noble gases which were discovered later could fit in this table also which was not um, possible in previous tables if you will talk about limitations first the position of isotope could not be explained and now what is isotope dear student isotope is same chemical same atomic mass but uh, sorry same atomic number but different atomic mass now you know very well this periodic table is on the basis of atomic mass if suppose we are talking about hydrogen hydrogen have c at uh, three uh, isotope that is h1 h2 and h3 so it means that these have different mass so it means that according to that these three hydrogen should get three different place but which is not kept in this table so this is the limitations wrong order of atomic mass could not be explained in some cases like cobalt is 58.9 whereas before before that nickel came 58.7 so nickel will become uh, nickel should come before cobalt because nickel have 58.7 atomic mass cobalt have 58.9 and according to this periodic table he said the element will be kept according to increasing atomic mass so it means that 58.7 should come nickel should come before cobalt according to atomic mass but it was not there it was cobalt before nickel so this was the uh, limitations so you can see dear student it in the previous you can uh, see here the cobalt is before nickel this is cobalt this is nickel so whereas cobalt is 58.9 and nickel is 58.7 whereas iron is 58.8 it means that the nickel should be before iron and cobalt but it it is not like this he kept nickel after iron and cobalt this was also the limitation hydrogen was not assigned correct position it had properties of both alkali and halogen yes the hydrogen have one electron it can give one electron and it will form h positive ion and it can take one electron and it can form h negative ion when it is forming h positive it is like alkali alkali mean first group group number 1 okay and h negative is like a halogen halogen mean it is group number uh, 17 so this is also controversial so mendeley's periodic table quickly we need to see it is classified element in the increasing order of atomic mass and similar to in their properties uh the formula of the oxides and hydroxide formed uh by the element was also the basis of classification of the elements mendeley periodic table has six horizontal row which is called period and eight vertical row which is called group the group 1 to 7 had two subgroup 
which is called A subgroup and B subgroup. Group B had eight, um, row, eight had three rows of elements. Element having similar properties were placed in the same group. There are say, some space left vacant in the table to accommodate the element to be discovered in the future. Merit elements were classified on a more fundamental basis of the atomic mass and properties. Space were left vacant to accommodate the element to be discovered in the future. It could predict the properties of element which helped in the discovery of new elements. The inert gas element discovered later could be placed in separate group without disturbing the table. These were the limit uh, merit. Merit mean uh, benefits. Defect some elements are not arranged in the increasing order of the atomic noise. Already I discussed cobalt and nickel. Tellurium placed in front of uh, before iron. Iodine, sorry. Position of hydrogen is not clear because it shows properties similar to metal as well as non-metal. The position of isotope element is not clear. So this was the recapitulation, dear student. So this is uh, uh, what we did. Now, uh, after this, the limitations of Mendeleev's periodic table will be uh, will be solved by this person that is Moselle, Henry Moselle in 1913 through his work with X-ray. He determined the actual nuclear charge that is called atomic number of the element and he arranged the element in order to increasing atomic number now. What is the major difference between Mendeley periodic table and modern periodic table? Mendeley periodic table was on the basis of increasing atomic mass whereas Moselle's uh, periodic table was on the basis of atomic number. There is inter in the atom a fundamental quantity which increases by regular step as we pass from each element to the next. This quantity can only be the charge by the central positive nucleus. So in 1887 he took birth and 1915 he died. And his classification brought a revolution and now the the study of element become very easy when we are going to classify the atom on the basis of atomic number. So, modern periodic table. The name of that table is called modern periodic table. Henry's Moseley gave a new property of element, atomic number, and this was adopted as the basis of modern periodic table. According to modern periodic table, properties of element are periodic function of their atomic number. In which position of element in modern periodic table are the modern periodic table consists 18 group and 7 periods. Element present in any one, any one group have the same number of valence electron. Uh, element present in any one period, it contains the same number of shell also with increase in atomic number by one unit on moving from left to right. The valence shell electron increase by one unit. Each period marks a new electronic shell getting filled. So dear student, this, this type of table has given us very uh, great information about the periodic table. So this we are going to do tomorrow. Okay, so by that time, you just... Uh, uh, watch this video again and again and uh, try to try to write down the notes from the video in your notes notebook and this is very important basically question will come from uh, limitations and uh, advantages of Mendeley periodic table okay so this is all about for today thank you thanks for watching this video thank you very much stay home stay safe thank you